Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 6, Indices, Practice Set 29. Let's learn the index of the product or quotient of two numbers. Let us observe the following examples to see what rule we get. Example 2 into 3 close the bracket raise to 4. Here 2 into 3 is our base and 4 is our index. So how do we write usually in multiplication form? We will write it as equal to the base multiplied four by itself 4 times. So 2 into 3 multiplied by 2 into 3 again multiplied by 2 into 3 multiply by 2 into 3. This is equal to all the 2 you can write together 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and all 3 you can multiply together multiply by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. This is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4. We can see 2 is multiplied 4 times into 3 raised to the power of 4 since 3 is also multiplied 4 times. From this we derive a formula. Look at the question 2 into 3 raised to 4 and now look at the final answer is equal to 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 4. So what formula you can apply here? A into B raised to M is equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. Okay, that I will show you later. Let's have a look at another example. 4 upon 5 raised to 3. Usually in the multiplication form you would write it as 4 upon 5 into itself 3 times since the index is 3. So here the numerators we multiply together 4 into 4 into 4 upon denominator 5 into 5 into 5. This is equal to 4 is multiplied 3 times so 4 is to power of 3 and 5 is multiplied 3 times so 5 raised to the power of 3. So look at the question now. 4 upon 5 raised to 3 is equal to look at the final answer 4 raised to 3 upon 5 raised to 3. So what do you know now? Now I know if A and B are non-zero rational numbers and M is an integer. Then a into b the whole raise to m is equal to you can separate the index now a raise to m into b raise to m. Multiplication remains as it is only the index we are taking to each rational number a raise to m into b raise to m. Let's have a look at second example. And second formula that we have derived is a upon b raised to m is equal to a raised to m upon b raised to m. Here also index has been applied separately in the, ans in the answer to the rational numbers. So when a upon b the whole is raised to m, you can write it as equal to a raised to m separately upon b raised to m. Okay. In this chapter, you will be learning various laws of indices. Let's have a look. A raised to m is raised to the power of n. That is the power of a number in index form. Example, 5 square raised to 3. Here 5 square is the base. Okay. And it's raised to the power of 3. So, you can write 5 square multiplied by itself 3 times. This is equal to now. 5 is the base. So, we take it common. Raised to the power of 2. So, 2 we can add. You have learned that in multiplication the base remains same and we add the index. So, 2 plus 2 plus 2 we get 6. That is 2 multiplied by 3 is also 6. So, final answer is 5 raised to the power of 6. Now, I know if A is a non-zero rational number and M and N are integers, then A raised to M to the power of N 
is equal to a raised to m multiply by n. You can multiply the power to the given index. So, your final formula will be a raised to the power of mn. Okay. So, this way you have got another formula. This is a law of indices. So, altogether the laws of indices are mentioned here. Let's try to recollect one by one. Remember, if A is a non-zero number and M and N are integers, then A raised to M into A raised to N is equal to A raised to M plus N. You add them. Okay, you have learned this in the previous practice set. Also, you have learned that a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a remains the same that is the base remains the same and you subtract m minus n. So division you subtract the index and multiplication you add the index. So these two formulas we have already worked upon. Also a raised to 1 is equal to a itself and a raised to 0 is equal to 1. Raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay. You also learned a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m. Okay. Next, a into b raised to m is equal to, we separate a raised to m into b raised to m. We apply the index to both separately. Similarly, a upon b raised to m is equal to a raised to m upon b raised to m apply the index separately a raised to m raised to the power of n is equal to we multiply the index a m into n that is a raised to m n and finally a upon b raised to minus m you write the reciprocal multiplicative inverse is equal to b upon a raised to m minus m becomes plus m so these are the laws of indices and write these rules carefully in your notebook and memorize them so that you can solve the sums based on indices correctly. So now let us move on to practice set number 29. Question number 1. Simplify. We have all together 10 questions. Let us solve them one by one. First, we have got 15 upon 12 raised to 3 and the whole raised to the power of 4. So, which formula are you going to apply here? Yes, the multiplication formula. It is known that a raised to m to the power of n is equal to a m into n where m and n are integers and a is a non-zero rational numbers. So, same rule we apply. So, write it as equals to 15 upon 12 as it is and multiply the index and the power 3 into 4. So, you get 15 upon 12 raised to 12. 3 fours are 12. So, you just have to multiply 3 by 4. Keep the base as it is. Alright. Second sum. 3 raised to 4 and the whole raised to minus 2. So, 4 we are going to multiply by minus 2. 4 twos are 8 plus into minus sign remains minus. So, final answer 3 raised to minus 8. Third sum. 1 upon 7 raised to minus 3 raised to 4. So, minus 3 into 4 gives you minus 12. Final answer, 1 upon 7 raised to minus 12. Fourth sum, 2 upon 5 raised to minus 2 raised to minus 3. So, 2 upon 5 as it is, minus 2 into minus 3 gives us plus 6. 3 twos are 6 minus minus plus. So, final answer, 2 upon 5 raised to 6. So, here we are just multiplying the index and the power. Base remains same. 6 raised to the power of 5 raised to 4. So, now 6 
as it is 5 fours are 20. So final answer 6 raised to 20. Sixth sum 6 upon 7 raised to 5 the whole raised to 2. Now 6 upon 7 keep as it is 5 into 2 is 10. So final answer 6 upon 7 the raised to 10. Seventh sum 2 upon 3 raised to minus 4 the whole raised to 5. So 2 upon 3 as it is minus 4 into 5 is minus 20. So final answer 2 upon 3 raised to minus 20. You get it. You just have to multiply the powers and keep the base as it is. 8 sum 5 upon 8 raised to 3 the whole raised to minus 2. So here you will keep 5 upon 8 as it is 3 multiplied by minus 2 gives you minus 6. So final answer is 5 upon 8 raised to minus 6. 9 sum 3 upon 4 raised to 6 the whole raised to 1. So 3 upon 4 as it is 6 into 1 is 6 itself. So, final answer 3 upon 4 raised to 6. 10 sum. 2 upon 5 raised to minus 3 and the whole raised to 2. So, 2 upon 5 as it is minus 3 multiplied by 2 it gives you minus 6. So, the final answer 2 upon 5 raised to minus 6. So, this way we have simplified the first 10 sums of question number 1. Now, we shall begin with question number 2. Write the following numbers using positive indices. Okay. Now, we are told to write positive indices. So, which formula you are going to apply here? Yes. A upon B raised to minus M is equal to B upon A raised to plus M. So, here we are going to write the following numbers using positive indices. It is known that a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m where m is an integer and a is a non-zero rational number. So same thing we are going to do. We are going to write it as 2 upon 7 raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 7 1 upon 2 upon 7 raised to 2. So this will become 7 upon 2 raised to 2. Now, if you want to write direct answer, 2 upon 7 raised to minus 2 is equal to 7 upon 2 raised to positive 2, you can write it down. You just have to write the multiplicative inverse and minus 2 write as plus 2 or just 2. So, even that can be done. Second sum, 11 upon 3 raised to minus 5, you can directly write multiplicative inverse 3 upon 11 raised to 5 or you can show the step how you got it 1 upon 11 upon 3 raised to 5 ok so we are showing you how we are writing it as multiplicative inverse and then you get it as 1 upon 11 upon 3 raised to 5 will become as 1 into 3 upon 11 upon 5. 1 into 3 upon 11 upon 5 gives us raised to 5 gives us 3 upon 11 raised to 5. So, you can use the formula directly to write your final answer. Third sum. 1 upon 6 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 1 upon 6 raised to 3. We are taking out the negative sign by writing it as 1 upon 1 upon 6 raised to 3. And now you invert it is equal to 6 upon 1 raised to 3. 6 upon 1 raised to 3 or you can just write it as 6 raised to 3. Upon 1 is as equal to as 6 raised to 3. Fourth sum y raised to minus 4 is equal to 1 upon y raised to 4 or 1 upon y raised to the whole in bracket raised to 4. So, both the answers are correct. So, this way we have solved practice set number 29.
do solve the sums in your book stay safe keep learning and thank you